It's an early Sunday morning at 6.30 and we're in the studio. Let's get it. So I have the zero hour already set up. So off the bat, I'm going to go to D minor. Unlocking this piano roll to D minor. So I'm going to play that. to D minor, unlocking this piano roll to D minor. to D minor, unlocking this piano roll to D minor. You can download this template for free on my website, www.spiceproductionsmusic.com. The black keys give effects, so we're going to play a couple of these black keys and see what it does. to the very end for when it loops around we'll put something right here let's see Should we cut this off here? So what I'll do is I'll render this MIDI file so it's its own individual MIDI file. Render it into a track.
All right, so let's move that over here. Let's look for some chords. Same thing. Let's gonna um. Now I'm doing this on my laptop. There is no keyboard. There's no out hardware MIDI controller. This is straight on the laptop. Laptop and some headphones and the mic. That's it. See if we can find all the sounds within this this kit. <laughs> So in this case, what I'm going to do now, I want to kind of slow things down. So on the playback, it's going to go to half speed. Yeah, I like that. Draw this out and I'll figure out the arrangement. So and I definitely want to put a little sauce on that. So it's at least like towards the end. to the beginning. That works. Let's go. Okay, now for the arrangement of the song, we definitely need some sort of pre-hook chorus type of thing oops so let's go look for that that's going to be within the same sounds just different notes and then we'll be able to throw some extra sauce on it See what we got so far. And so when I make the beats, I like to make the sounds on top, and then in my template, the bottom section, all the drums and the bass and all that stuff. I work from top to bottom. Here right, we go. <laughs> So then this would go somewhere. And so it would loop back. That would be the 8 bar verse, 8 bar pre-hook, and then this would be back into the chorus so notice my markers here here we'll start using the markers that'll be the intro so let's leave the intro there uh, I 
Actually, let me start over. This will be the base. That'll be the, like, the main foundation, the chords here. So we're in double time. So this is eight. This is 12. So we're going to make this 16. Now the bridge is either a hook or a different bridge. We'll decide that later. This is where the pre-hook will come in. So that means this will go here. Put this into bars. This will stay out. And then this will just duplicate. So we fill in a space for something. And this will be the quote unquote hook sound. So let's move this over. The bridge is the same eight bars as the hook. Verse two would be here. So bridge. Then verse, then back to pre hook. And then we'll probably finish it with the hook one more time. All right, let's check this out. Since this is pop vibes, party next door type stuff, I'm thinking, even though I'd like to start with the verse, I don't know, maybe I'll just change this later with the artist. I'm thinking about maybe starting the song with the verse instead of the hook, but we can leave that to another time. All right, here we go. So now, let's put a little sauce on this. First things first, I want to change this. So I'm going to put this on poly, phonic. Let's see if I can drop this five semitones so it's not so bright and like loud. It's like blaring at me. <laughs> I'm just out of curiosity going to throw this onto shaper box and see what happens. experiment with this top on. We're going to 
to leave it in minus five and I'm going to run it through the shaper box also with everything else. I was seeing if it maybe needed to run on its own on a separate, through a separate bus. But I just feel like it just changes the vibe too much. So I'm going to let it run through. Grouped with everything else. Still pitched down though. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. All right, time for some drums. <laughs> 